I'm Mike Doherty, and you're watching The Doherty Report on Chiptune Gaming. What is up, players? Welcome to The Doherty Report, and we have a ton of news to cover today, so let's just jump into it. Something very big has happened in the gaming industry this week, and Christoph Balestra of Naughty Dog fame has left the developer. He says to the PlayStation blog that, quote, I never thought I would be saying something so difficult so soon after 15 years here. I'm announcing my departure from Naughty Dog. My last day will be April 3rd, 2017. The time has come for me to now spend more time with family and create a void to see what I could fill it with. Now, this is huge news for the developer. Kristoff had a huge impact, of course, on the uh, developer overall. He's been uh, working there since 2002, so around the first time Jack came out. Him and Evan Wells have been kind of co-presidents of the developer since Jason Rubin left. What does this mean for Naughty Dog? Absolutely nothing. These guys know how to breed talent, and I'm sure this is going to be no different. When Jason Rubin left, they filled it with two awesome presidents, so I'm sure someone else is going to step up and take his place, and it's going to be just as good, because Naughty Dog has a way of just taking all this talent from the industry and putting it into their studio and just making phenomenal games. So don't worry if you're a Naughty Dog fan. I'm sure they will be fine. Remember a game called No Man's Sky? Oh yeah, the one just everybody hates and is just ready to burn it down with a pitchfork. Well, it's back and it's been making some updates in the past month or so. Hello Games has been continually at work, working away, toiling away on making No Man's Sky better. And this update is no exception. This update includes a ton of content, including uh, land vehicles to get around, so like speeder bikes so you can uh, get past the train, making traveling easier on the surface of the planet so you land. That's like the big part of this news is uh, just the vehicles um, being added to uh, the mobility of the overall game. But other than that, it's just building upon the foundation update that was released, I think, uh, about a month ago. They're just trying to improve it. They're trying to follow up on the promises they made to everybody. A little too late, in my opinion, I don't think that there's a saving grace from this game. And I think the next game, Hello Games, releases, it really is going to have to prove itself. I think this developer has really stained its reputation. Me, personally, in my opinion, No Man's Sky was a good game. Not a great game, not a revolutionary game like they pitched it, but it was a solid game. I had fun. I actually want to jump back into it. I want to start streaming the game. I want to do that for you guys. I want to get on Twitch and I want to stream the game and see, show you the updates, the differences they made. Because I think the game deserves a genuine shot. I think it deserves a second chance. And I know it's too late. The, the goodwill's burned. It's tarnished. And frankly, they are too late. But I like that they keep working at it and... They keep working and trying to make it better and better, even though they burn so many people. I want to jump into streaming that for you guys, um, just to show you uh, what's new. Um, have it be more of an information piece for you guys, a way to give you, okay, this is what they're doing different. Should you jump back into it? I had fun with it. I had fun with the mining. There wasn't a lot to do there, but it seems like they're trying to make it uh, more of a Minecraft that you can build bases, and now you have these land speeders and... I'm interested, so I think I'm going to jump back in. And of course, we can't get away from it. In Nintendo news today, Nintendo puts out a statement saying, At Nintendo, we take great pride in creating quality products that we want our consumers to have a positive experience with. It is common for any new innovative consumer technology for consumers to have questions, and Nintendo Switch is no exception. There are no widespread technical problems and all issues are being handled promptly, including the reports regarding the left Joy-Con Bluetooth connection. Now, Nintendo is basically saying, there's no problem, this is fine, we're good. Uh, the left Joy-Con's just a few people having this issue when in fact it's actually been reported by multiple uh, media outlets and people, now that's in the wild. Hey, this is an issue. One of my favorite people to follow on Twitter, Ty Root, he's actually reporting it's impossible to play Zelda. It's actually breaking the experience and is actually souring him on the experience. This is a real issue and Nintendo's denying it, saying, oh, there's no issues. And this video. I don't feel well. Oh, Jesus. Experience 
and immediately. Wow, that sucks. Jenkins, can I get some help with mine? <laughs> so, there it goes. There right? you go. But yeah, did you match up the pluses? So you'll have the did pluses, pluses matched on the front, so here's no, match the minuses, and you screwed it all up. I did. I don't, how did you manage to do that? I don't know. I it's, a Nintendo, it's a Nintendo product. I don't know how you could do that. Here, I got it. Do you got it? It went too far this way. Uh-oh. This thing is actually stuck on here. It went on super easy, honestly. Where's my game? Why doesn't it work? It says otherwise. As you can see, this video is just a montage of everything breaking. Um, just clip after clip of people recording their Nintendo Switches breaking, malfunctioning, being weird, not working properly. Um, it's awesome. This video is awesome. Link down below. Go check out the whole thing. Um, there's issues and Nintendo's kind of just sweeping it under the rug saying there's nothing wrong with it, which is totally incorrect. It's fake news. It's fake. Fake news. Jumping over to some awesome news, Telltale's Guardians of the Galaxy cast has been released, and I am so stoked! The cast consists of Star-Lord, who's gonna be played by Scott Porter from Friday Night Lights, Gamora will be played by Emily O'Brien from Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Rocket the Raccoon will be played by Nolan North of Uncharted, um, he played la everything. Everything you think of Nolan North has been in, and I am so excited, Nolan North will kill this part. He fits the perfect, perfect. They cast it perfect. It's over. This game is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Hopefully, they fix their engine and it won't be glitchy like all their other games. But I digress. I'm pretty excited. The cast also includes uh, Drax will be played by Brandon Paul Ellis from Watch Dogs. And Groot will be played by Adam Harrington of The Wolf Among Us. Telltale's Wolf Among Us. So I'm pretty excited. This is just a cool piece of news. Really stoked about this game. Can't wait to see more. And hopefully, like I said, it's not broken. Please tell, tell. Please invest. Please invest in a working game that doesn't glitch out. And our last piece of news of the day is Marvel is coming out and they're grabbing all these awesome developers, Telltale, Square Enix, Montreal, um, Insomniac, and they're grabbing all these developers and giving them the IP to make awesome games. Now, there's been some issues raised with this thinking maybe they'd pull the Activision route and basically say, okay, you have to fit story beats. They have to release alongside um, movies. You have to meet these quotas. And Marvel has come out and said, absolutely not. These developers can make their own stories. These are their own stories, their own takes, basically little, their own comic. Basically, each of these developers get to do what they want with the property, as long as they run it by Marvel, of course, but it's not connected to anything in any way. They're not canon in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. They're their own stories. And that is awesome. I can't wait to see what these developers do. They are awesome, talented developers, and I cannot wait to see the unique spins they put on these superheroes. We're going to have awesome superhero games again, and that is <sighs> mind-blowing to me. Because I remember back on the PS2 playing Spider-Man 2, of course. Um, I think that was the last good super game I played. Other than the Batman Arkham trilogy, of course, and Arkham Origins. And when those games were released, I was always left with the question, like, why? Why aren't people doing this? Why aren't more people doing this? Why aren't they taking these IPs seriously? And the answer is, Marvel's about to do it. And Marvel is about to go head-to-head -head with DC um, in the game's media in the game sphere now and i cannot wait and the answer is marvel's jumping into the game's media sphere again and gonna be killing it because insomniac proven developer square enix proven developer uh telltale proven developer i cannot wait to see more and what more is released and of course in shameless plugs of the week um something totally not gaming related i want to point it out this shower prank series i'm sure it's old it's awesome go check it out it's Hilarious this guy runs around at the beach um, people go take their shower after they get out of the ocean He goes and puts more shampoo in their hair and just keeps running by uh, He hangs over uh, where the shower is and just keeps putting shampoo in their hair and they can't get out It's awesome. Please go watch it. It just it really makes my day and of course big big news in my world at least big news to me Crash Bandicoot uh, the insane trilogy 
PlayStation released more footage of it from the second Crash Bandicoot footage. So before we got screenshots from Crash 2. This is gameplay from Crash 2 and it looks awesome. This is from the level Hang 8 all right here. Link down below as always. Uh, same with the shampoo prank. Click down below. Give it a like that and a share. Go check out those videos. They are awesome and they, they really made my week so much better. But really, look at Crash Bandicoot. Look how good it looks. I cannot wait. June 30th cannot be here fast enough. I'm taking off work that day just to do a stream for you guys. And I'll be streaming all day playing through Crash 1, Crash 2, and Crash 3. As for questions this week, we don't really have a lot of questions this week. We only have one question, and it's from Blaze Peterson. Blaze Peterson asks, Do you believe a quarter would be a sufficient substitute for toilet paper? I think a quarter can work as toilet paper. Would I say carry a roll of quarters around with you to wipe your ass with not in the least bit but you can do it without getting on your hands so it's a win-win i mean it'd be hard you gotta really finesse it but you could definitely wipe your ass with a quarter no doubt about it i've done it this is the joke i know i know blaze blaze has seen me wipe my ass with a quarter so if you have questions for us please go ahead and tweet them at us at ctg vids you can go ahead and like our Facebook page, comment your questions down below in the video, comment your questions. I want to read them. I want to answer them. Let's have a discussion because that's what makes this channel so awesome is because it's going to be so revolved around you, the community. And for some housekeeping, of course, our giveaway is still going for every 10 subscribers. It is going to be a giveaway of an Xbox card or a PlayStation card. So go ahead, share this video, get it to people so we can grow and I can give you guys free because who doesn't like free shit? Of course, that's not just as simple as that. You go ahead and subscribe, you leave a comment down below, and you like the video, and that will enter you in a chance for the random raffle um, every 10 subscribers. So this week, we did not hit the mark. We did not reach 120, I think it is, um, subscribers to do a giveaway. If we hit it 130, it will be two giveaways. So go ahead, like I said, share the video, get people to subscribe, tell your friends, because every 10, PlayStation card, Xbox card. And of course, this is all because I am racing Trevor Zach to 500 subscribers because f Trevor Zach. I will win. The winner gets to make the other a cake and make him eat it. So please, and not just any cake. I mean, like, you just put whatever you want in there and they have to eat a piece and I get to film it. He gets to film it for his channel. Uh, the winner gets to put it up on their channel. So please, if you want to see Trevor Zach eat some shit, go ahead, subscribe, share. If you like this video, go ahead and check out our other videos. Right here, you can check out The Last Story Report. And right here, you can check out me yelling at Tim Geddes. Down below, you can subscribe on that button right there. Check us out on the various social media platforms and send your questions in. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. Help us grow. I'm Mike Doherty, and this is Chip Dude Gaming.